Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Saris and welcome to Rustic Flow. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to uh, Rodney Dangerfield uh, almost make Carson fall out of his chair. I'm really looking forward to it because I've got a feeling it's going to be absolutely brilliant. I've only done one reaction to him and I'm so much looking forward to doing this. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Loves to perform because he, he loves audiences. And even at his own club in New York called Dangerfield, strangely enough, he still doesn't get any respect. But he'll be working at the Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas for six weeks starting February the 17th. Rodney Dangerfield. I tell you, I'm, I'm all right now. Last week, I was in rough shape, though, you know? <laughs> My wife's father, he moved in with us. I was an electronic pacemaker. Every time he sneezes, the garage door opens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw my dentist, too, last week, another beauty. I said to him, Doc, look at my teeth, they're all getting yellow. He told me to wear a brown necktie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, last week was a rough week for me. I broke up my psychiatrist, too. He told me I'm going crazy. I said to him, if you don't mind, like a second opinion. He said, all right, you're ugly, too. <laughs> and then he told me to lay on the couch, face down. <laughs> no, I tell you, on Halloween, that's when I know I'm ugly. I open the front door, kids give me candy. <laughs> and girls, they don't like my looks, either. Well, the other day, a girl was driving a one-way street. I got down one way. She yelled back, no way. <laughs> I don't know, I tell you, I tell you, since I'm a kid, nobody wants me around, you know? I mean, the time I asked my old man, how can I get my kite in the air? He told me to run off a cliff. <laughs> he did a lot of things, my old man. Well, once on my birthday, he gave me a dartboard with automatic return. <laughs> And my mother, too. She never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> I love that guy. And that's brilliant. And I tell you, since I'm a kid, I don't get no respect from anyone. Well, last week, I donated blood. The family thanked me for saving their dog's life. <laughs> and my wife, she's no better than the rest of them. I told them when I die, I want to be cremated. She's planning a barbecue. <laughs> With my wife, I got no sex life either. Well, outside my bedroom window, they caught a peeping Tom sleeping. <laughs> what a sex life. Well, my dog keeps watching me in a bedroom once I learn how to beg. <laughs> well, this is brilliant. Yeah, my dog, that's another one. He taught my wife to roll over and play dead. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you, my life, when she makes love to me, there's always a reason for it. Now, one night, she used me to time an egg. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, too. I don't like the nickname she gave me, either. Microwave. <laughs> hey, Hollywood, Hollywood. That was brilliant. You're looking wonderful, Rodney. Eric, thank you very much, Johnny. You look kind of cute yourself, you know that? <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, how you doing, all right? Is it, is it warm in here? Well, it's me, you know, the pressure, the pressure. The pressure. Every day, you know. <laughs> you want uh, me to, I'll do a commercial, give you a chance to cool off a little bit? Whatever, whatever you like, sure. okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not my ball game, you know that. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but, <laughs> we'll do this we'll return we'll right after this, sure. <laughs> Are you one of 9 million EasyJet customers who could be set to receive up to £2,000 in compensation? Very nice. Yeah, so, you, look, you look relaxed now. Well, I'm okay. I'm fine. Thanks yeah. very much. It's always like, this relaxes me being out here Where's in California. Really? Nice people. You know, California's a pretty country, too. You like you know? it, huh? Well, I like big mountains. they got big trees. You know, it's lovely out here. Yeah. You know, I love trees. You know that. Oh. Sometimes I spend a whole day just looking for a piece of oak and a hunk of ash. You know that. <laughs> 
No, I mean, in New York, there's not many trees. There's not you know? many trees. Well, right in New York, there's only one tree in my block, uh -huh. you know? And two guys live in it, I'm telling you. It's, uh, <laughs> you live in a rough neighborhood. Oh, right? very bad neighborhood. Are you kidding? My neighborhood? Forget about all kinds of people there. Yeah. But this last week, a guy rotated my tires from my car to his. <laughs> <laughs> No, my name is always problems, though. You kidding? My block is a beautiful children's zoo, you know? Last week, four kids escaped. I mean, always. <laughs> four kids all, you know? It's a kid right there. No, but I'll tell you, kids are bad today, Johnny. They're, 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 they're bad today, Johnny. Yeah. I'll tell you, my kid, same. My kid, too, full of smart answers, you know? But the other day, I said to him, I said, You're young, you don't have it upstairs. He told me I was old, I don't have it downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, people can drive you nuts, Johnny, you know? Yeah. But the other night, I went into a place, I asked the bartender for a double. He brought out some guy who looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax, that's the whole thing. Right, right. I can't relax, oh, that's, that's the whole thing. problem. You kidding my friend, the doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach, oh, you know how to relax. I was gonna ask you about him. He he his name he's doing fine, up. doing fine. He's glad you brought it up, too. Yeah. He's doing fine, you know. <laughs> Doing fine. He like, he's busy, busy. You know, his new book just came out. Yeah, oh, book. big, big book. He's all about hamburgers. About hamburgers? Hamburgers, yeah. The book's entitled, She Was In Love With a Quarter Pounder Until She Tried the Whopper. It's a very good book. <laughs> 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 he was in love with a quarter pounder until she tried the Whopper. Your doctor <laughs> writes a lot of fun. <laughs> all, <about laughs> yeah. all about hamburgers, yes, sir. Uh, Read, boy. Well, I'll tell you, Johnny, I count my blessings. Do you really? Do I count my blessings, you know? That's I mean, uh, you know, I'm doing okay today. Show business, I was broke for years, you know. Oh, I never had any money. I couldn't buy nothing. I used to go to orgies to eat the grapes. You could not. <laughs> no money at all. <laughs> uh, my whole life, I never got a break with anything. You kidding? Uh. With me, nothing comes easy. Nothing. Well, last week, my gay uncle died. Left me all his dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I got a break with nothing, Johnny. Hasn't you been kidding? a good year, eh? I never had any luck with girls either. You kidding? Oh, never had any luck with it. But I was 16 years old, I had sex once and VD twice. Never had any luck. That's the story VD twice. When I was a kid, I never got girls. Never. Really? My friends didn't know, though. I fooled them, you know. I used to go to drive in movies alone and do push ups in the back seat of my car. You know? <laughs> Here and there, but nothing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh. Well, one time I took out a real fat girl. Fat Ooh, girl. she fat? Big, Ooh, big girl. <laughs> fat after. And she was so fat, I mean, during sex, guys asked directions, you know what I mean? She was... <laughs> That's a big girl. Big girl. Big girl. <laughs> fat is no guy. I lose some weight myself, yeah. Johnny. It's awful. It's the whole thing, they look thin, look thin, you know? Yeah. I forgot the best way to look thin. You hang out with fat people. It's the only <laughs> way I'm talking, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's healthy, thin, and health. That's what's health. We didn't come Thank to health yet. Right. That's right. Health is important, you know? And I'm getting old. I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Yeah. We all get old. I'm... I'm at the age now, I tell you, I'm envious of a stiff wind, you know? I'm really, I'm getting very... <laughs> I've been more depressed than ever lately, too. Are you Jeremy. depressed? Very depressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, laugh it up, will you? I'm very <laughs> no, I'm very depressed. It's worse than ever. This hey, depression. Yeah, it's ahead. like a heaviness on top of me, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. It's always there, this heaviness. Always right on top of me, you know? Yeah. Other guys get up in the morning, they are a new day up and at them. I wake up, the heaviness is waiting for me nice, you know. <laughs> and sometimes I even talk to it. And I say, hi, heaviness. <laughs> and the heaviness looks back at me, today you're going to get it good, you know. <laughs> You'll be drinking early today. <laughs> and I don't want to drink, because I'm a bad drinker, I'll tell you that, Johnny. When I drink the next day, I've got to do two things. I've got to try and locate my car, and i got to bring back the car I took. I mean, I'm a... <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah, sure. Of course I do. Of course you do. I know a lot of my bed. I, I don't know. Bring on the next guy. I don't know what I'm doing. to the end of the conversation. You come to the end of the conversation. <laughs> a lot of guys taper off. Rodney doesn't fool around. Bring out the next guy. You're a funny man. Well, thank you very much. We'll do this and we'll be right back. <laughs> so, that was Rodney Dangerfield. Almost made Carson fall off chair laughing. And I can see why. Because it was absolute brilliant. His one-liners are absolute brilliant. And there's no profanity in it.
like it is so great without any profanity and he's delivering these one-liners one after the other like it's so great i absolutely love it and i'm so much looking forward to doing more of his stuff so keep an eye on that meanwhile if you enjoyed this go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a comment and like and i'll see you guys next time